What up? It's your boy NWP and we're back at it once again with another video and today we'll be taking a look at heirlooms and which one you can expect to pop up in season 16 of Apex Legends. As it stands right now there is a ton of speculation regarding who will be getting the next heirloom including even some of the voice actors themselves voicing opinions and we'll touch on all that information and we'll look at recent leaks regarding the possibility of who's getting the next heirloom and much much more but first if you enjoy the channel and you want to help me out in an absolutely massive way then how about taking the time right now to like this video and if you're new smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video now obviously heirlooms are definitely one of if not the most coveted item in apex legends so much so that people will literally complain in every way possible about how they don't have one. I'm level 500 and I still don't have an heirloom. I've spent X amount of money and I still don't have an heirloom. I think heirlooms should be free, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, the reason that heirlooms are so popular is the rarity of an heirloom in general and the prohibitive price tag behind them. So if they were as easy to get as people really would like them to be, they would not be nearly as amazing to anyone in the game. But it does look like we're in a situation where we may have three different potential legends that could be seeing the next heirloom. When asked the question, who's going to get the next heirloom before season 15 ended, we actually had a really interesting reply from Elle Newlands, the voice actress behind Horizon, saying that she had some opinions on the matter. Now, obviously, we ended up getting Seer's heirloom and not actually Horizon's, and this put a lot of people on the path to believing that Horizon would be next up after Seer. However, it does look like we've actually got some more recent information directly from Thord and Smash that suggests neither Horizon nor Fuse will be getting an heirloom in the near future, which obviously is going to upset some of the community a lot more than it's going to upset the rest of the community i mean a lot of us have heirlooms for our mains already in terms of at least the possibility to uh, obtain one whether we actually own it or not is up for debate but on the same stretch of things there is a ton of people that do not have any heirlooms and you know potentially play characters like horizon fuse ash etc and horizon is definitely one of the more popular characters in apex legends but we also know that horizon is actually scheduled to be getting somewhat of a nerf in season 16. so we'll actually be seeing a nerf come to a character rather than them holding out a nerf on a character until they're able to make a few extra dollars so rather than seeing a predatory type of marketing scheme we're actually seeing them do something in the right vein of things for once and that is really going to help the game out in terms of keeping people playing and spending money which is really the end goal now which legend could we potentially be seeing get an actual heirloom in season 16 well there is a good chance that it will be ash and ash is a character that namely probably had a ton of thought put into her heirloom long before other characters now people need to understand one thing about heirlooms they are an artistic approach and when it comes to creating an heirloom for a legend there is no direct order so just because a legend came out before another legend does not mean that they will get their heirloom before that other legend it all comes down to what inspiration has actually been in the animators designers and so on's head for the longer amount of time. And the fact remains, with Ash, her sword was opted to be used as her ultimate ability, as well as in multiple of her finishers. So it's very unlikely that they would not have thought about, well, what can we do for an heirloom? I would argue that was one of, if not the first thing that they actually started to think about and probably have something distinct done and ready to go already at this point and i wouldn't be surprised to see it pop up in the game files with the launch of season 16. but with that being said there is a lot going on with the mythic store in the more recent past so it's possible that we don't get an heirloom at all in this particular season and they focus on other items 
like the more recent Peacekeeper recolor that we saw in the more recent update. Now, the chances are that while this is technically quote unquote a legendary skin in the Mythic store, all items should be considered a tier above legendary and therefore argued at least to be a Mythic or Heirloom level item. Now, moving forward, we also know that there is going to be the Flatline Heatsink recolor coming at some point. And we've seen a lot of different information regarding that item. And it still looks like it's something that they're on kind of a back burner approach with because they know people want it so badly. And the longer they sit on it, the more hype will actually build around that item. And of course, we have the Mythic Prestige skins that were added to the store. And now even more recently, the prospect of recolors to actual heirloom skins. So it's very, very interesting where they're headed with the Mythic store. And it's very possible that we see a little bit of a slowdown on them adding in heirlooms overall because they are in fact running up to the wire in terms of how many legends they have left to create heirlooms for. So if they get too far ahead, then they'll be struggling on what to do for big name events that they've been using as collection events for so long and that they've been cashing in on for so long. So basically the meta that Respawn is playing for promotion and sales would be heavily disturbed if they didn't slow down what they're doing right now. So it is actually a very distinct possibility that no new melee heirloom is added in season 16. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. Would you be fine with no heirloom cash grab being added into season 16? Or do you feel that you absolutely are in need of a new heirloom every single season and that if they get too caught up then they need to make a new heirloom with the new legend let me know in the comment section down below what your opinion is on this one and uh how is season 15 going for you guys are you enjoying the ranked grind here and the final little stretch of content that we have being slammed into our faces obviously there's a little bit more going on with the celestial sunrise collection coming up very soon as well as the upcoming Valentine's event and the anniversary event for Apex Legends. So we're really getting kind of trampled with content right now, which is pretty awesome considering it's the beginning of the year. People are kind of getting more hyped about Apex again because there is some issues in Warzone 2 and Fortnite, you know, being as old as it is, just obviously has some issues coming up with new and intense content that's really going to drop the jaws of the community because they've seen so much for so long so i really think that season 16 could be a really beneficial season to apex legends as a whole if they manage to solve some of the issues that we've been seeing and it does look like at least potentially they're taking steps in the right direction to make apex legends a more hospitable place for the majority of players now, will we actually see an heirloom for Horizon in the near future? I hope so, because honestly, she is one of the highest pick rate characters. She has a pretty awesome toolkit overall, and when it comes down to it, she is a fan favorite. And honestly, if, if I'm looking at the game from an objective standpoint as both a consumer and as someone that, uh, you know, understands business, then I think heirlooms for the characters that people actually play are probably way more paramount than trying to convince people to play a character they don't like and spend another 160 to 500 dollars. But that's always going to be a complete debate for people. You know, it's your money and what you want to do with it is up to you. The problem being is that we really want to see Respawn do a little better in terms of game design and development, more so than making pretty cosmetic items to buy because if it was just kind of a meta universe collecting sim is one thing but it's supposed to be a gun game first and foremost with accuracy and skill being the paramount things in apex legends but guys if you want to continue this conversation or hey maybe you want to start another conversation or may maybe you just got some crazy clips you want to add me in and uh, maybe all that crazy nonsense, then I highly suggest you head over to the social media links. They're on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow, whatever you haven't done already, and it will be greatly appreciated as well as helping the channel maintain and succeed throughout the season. 
and I'm fully aware that these longer videos are definitely not everybody's cup of tea. So I've actually started a Apex Minutes channel, which is 60 second videos giving you up to date information about Apex Legends in a much more short, compact form. Check out the link in the description if you are in need of something a little bit shorter or if you just want to help support the new brand and growth on that channel. But of course, remember that TikTok and Instagram will also have short form content of completely unique and invariably different types. So check it out as well. But well, we're going to wrap this video right up. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the end of season 15. Here's another video I highly suggest you check out if you haven't already. But thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to see who gets the next heirloom if you don't stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, have a good one.